So hi everybody, uh, very happy to be here. Um, there's, a, there's a saying in English uh, that says, uh, don't look at a gift horse in the mouth. Um, so whatever that means, <laughs> whatever that means, it doesn't apply to whales. When you're looking at stories about whales uh, in the mythology uh, going from Jonas uh, to Pinocchio, uh, what you see that when you look inside of a whale, usually there's a very useful core. And uh, when you're looking inside of the Docker whale, there's the same core. That's called Container D. And uh, today, we're, or a week ago, we gave it to CNCF. And uh, you can see the logo here. It's been accepted this week. So that's why we're here. Uh, so thank you. <laughs> So container D is that core uh, uh, container runtime uh, that runs containers in Docker. So it does uh, container execution and supervision. It's been doing that since Docker 1.11. So even if you don't, if you're hearing about container D for the first time today, you're probably using it uh, either on your laptop or in the cloud today. Uh, the, the future container D, the one we're working on, will add image distribution, local storage, uh, and a native plumbing API uh, using gRPC. So it's built by Docker with input from the uh, five largest cloud providers, Alibaba, Amazon, Google, IBM, and Microsoft. Uh, Docker engine itself is much wider than ContainerD, so that's why I was talking about the core. Uh, so Docker is a complete container platform for the complete distributed application lifecycle. So it, has, it manages infrastructure within Fracket that actually we, uh, we introduced at uh, LinuxCon in October uh, uh, here in Berlin. Uh, ContainerD is the core container runtime. They swarm kit for orchestration and then a bunch of Docker services. Uh, so ContainerD is widely used uh, through Docker. Uh, millions of installations in all industry segments. You can see all the logos over there. There's a good chance that you're using it already. So it's a stable code base that's been battle tested. Uh, and, uh, and ContainerD is not in isolation. Docker is doing a lot of these pr plumbing projects. Here you can see a slide that we presented at uh, uh, LinuxCon. Uh, in Berlin in October when we introduced Infracket. So as Docker is growing in usage here, you can see the number of pools uh, on Docker Hub. Uh, so we were at 6 billion pools. Uh, today we're at 11 billion. Basically every month we have one more uh, billion uh, images that are pulled from Docker Hub. As we're doing that, we're shedding out components. And so it started with libcontainer, uh, and then we, we went with all the runc, notary, so runc, the reference implementation for OCI, and then swarmkit, infrakit, and today containerd. So the role of containerd in the container ecosystem, uh, at the base layer, you have your operating system. On top of it, you have a thin layer of standards. So that's what we call OCI. It's another uh, Linux Foundation collaborative project, uh, the Open Container Initiative. Uh, so Docker is part of it with uh, 40 different vendors, and we're defining specs for image, run uh, image and runtime. Uh, so the specs are very advanced, and there will be a session about that this afternoon, a panel. And then on top of that, uh, implementing the specs is ContainerD, the core container runtime. And then you can build your own orchestration. So ContainerD is really designed to be embedded. It exposes a gRPC API. Uh, as well as a metrics API that follows the Prometheus uh, format. Uh, it, it is composed of several subsystems, one for distribution, one to manage bundles, uh, and then the runtime itself. The community is vibrant. Uh, there's uh, 141 commit per month, uh, eight maintainers from five different companies, and uh, uh, only last month there was uh, 17 unique contributors. So it's a very healthy project. Why did we give ContainerD to CNCF? So we announced ContainerD back in December, and we said we're going to give it to a neutral uh, uh, body. And we chose CNCF because of the alignment of goals. Uh, so CNCF is about container package application, and ContainerD is striving to be uh, a core container runtime to run these containers. Uh, and there's another aspect, like we're all engineers, uh, or many of us at Docker are engineers, and uh, ContainerD itself is very aligned uh, technically with the other CNCF projects. So it's using gRPC, which is part of CNCF. Uh, it exposes metrics in the Prometheus format, and it is designed to be embedded in higher level systems like Kubernetes. So it could be a very good implementation for the Kubernetes CRI interface that uh, you'll probably hear about uh, today. 
If you want to contribute and learn more, uh, we have uh, uh, three of the ContainerD maintainers here uh, uh, in the, at the conference today. So Justin Cormack, that's here, Derek McGovern, uh, and Phil Estes, where are you, Phil? So try to find these guys, They're, they'll be around. Uh, today we have a salon at 1.55 uh, in CO4, uh, and then uh, uh, we'll have the, uh, Justin is giving a talk tomorrow uh, at 11.30. Uh, and then uh, if you're going to Austin at DockerCon, uh, take April 20th for the uh, next ContainerD Summit. Thank you very much, and uh, have fun at uh, CloudNativeCon. Okay. Thanks very much, Patrick.